Pretty much everything about the Infinity War sequel is still shrouded in mystery, but thanks to social media and set photos, we do have a good idea of who we'll see reporting for duty. Here's a look at which heroes have been confirmed for Avengers 4. Paul Rudd's Ant-Man may have missed out on the fun of Avengers Infinity War, but he'll be back in action for the fourth film. Rudd makes a memorable appearance at the end of the Endgame trailer, but we'll have to wait and see just how he actually escaped from the quantum realm that he was trapped in at the end of Ant-Man and the Wasp. Janet! Guys! Guys! Okay, seriously, don't joke around! Bring me up, let's go! As for Evangeline Lilly's Wasp, she might have faded into dust following Thanos' snap, but don't expect that to affect her involvement in the sequel. Lily has already confirmed her appearance in Avengers 4 during a fan Q&A on her Instagram page. However, she did say that she's not in much of the movie, so eager fans might just need to rewatch Ant-Man and the Wasp if they want to see Lily in true superhero form. Chadwick Boseman's T'Challa was one of many characters who bit the dust at the end of Infinity War. However, Boseman's appearance in the sequel was confirmed when he was spotted on the movie's Atlanta set, so don't expect the King of Wakanda to stay dead for long. It's not like it's the first time T'Challa's come back from the dead, either. I cannot stay here with you. I cannot rest. Anthony Mackie's Falcon may have disintegrated in Infinity War, but he has already assured fans that he will be back for the fourth film, sharing a picture of himself on the movie's set. Mackie even offered up a bit of a hint for fans eager to hear about the plot of the movie, telling MTV, Whole lot of people fighting, whole lot of people talking. It's a war of infinite proportions. Cut the check. All day, baby. Write that down. Zoe Saldana's Gamora met a very tragic end in Infinity War. Considering that her death wasn't one of the movie's ending disintegrations, it seemed like it might stick, but regardless, Gamora will show up in Avengers 4. It's still unknown whether it will be a flashback or a full resurrection. As for the rest of the Guardians, Rocket and Nebula survived the events of Infinity War, so you can count on them to be first in line to fight Thanos. Meanwhile, Dave Bautista has confirmed that he appears in Avengers 4, while Pom Clementiev shared a photo from her makeup trailer on the Avengers 4 set. As for Groot, Marvel Studios has been playing it close to the chest, but we would be surprised if the rest of the team appears in Avengers 4 without everyone's favorite tree boy, Groot. Chris Pratt's Star-Lord had arguably the saddest arc in Avengers Infinity War. After nearly defeating Thanos with the help of a bunch of other heroes, he ended up accidentally freeing Thanos from their carefully orchestrated trap and indirectly causing the deaths of half the universe, himself included. Shuri's fate, meanwhile, was left much more vague. While she participated in the battle against Thanos by attempting to separate Vision from his Mind Stone, fans didn't get to see whether she ultimately survived the fateful snap. Considering she was on the Avengers list of missing people in the Endgame trailer, it seems like maybe she got dusted along with her brother. However, you can expect both of these heroes to make a return in Endgame, according to none other than Shuri herself, actress Letitia Wright. According to Screen Geek, Wright was asked about her favorite actor to work with on the Avengers films, and she responded, Chris Pratt was genuinely a great person. He would, like, give me Bible scriptures out of nowhere and then do a dance and leave. He's great. I love Chris Pratt. Considering that she and Pratt don't share a scene in Infinity War, it's safe to say that they probably spent that time together while filming Endgame. Whether Shuri actually survived the snap, like fellow missing in action hero Ant-Man, or will be making her return alongside the other resurrected heroes, we'll just have to wait and see. The absence of Jeremy Renner's Hawkeye from Infinity War was one of the film's biggest surprises, especially because he was only referenced in a single line. We need all hands on deck. Where's Clint? After the whole Accord situation, he and Scott took a deal. It was too tough on their families on house arrest. It seems like he'll have plenty more to do in Avengers 4, though. Renner shows up in the Endgame trailer with a new haircut and a costume that looks suspiciously like the superhero Ronin, an identity that Hawkeye temporarily assumed in the comics. Elizabeth Olsen's Scarlet Witch had a pretty big role to play in Infinity War. As the only one with powers that could potentially destroy an Infinity Stone, Wanda had a moral decision to make about whether or not she would kill her love, the Vision, in order to potentially save the universe. Even though Wanda ultimately decided to sacrifice Vision and destroy the Stone, Thanos ended up getting a hold of it anyway, disintegrating half of the universe, including Wanda. However, Wanda is still confirmed to appear in Avengers 4, with Olsen sharing a pic from the set revealing that her role will feature the character taking flight, 
Although that doesn't say much, it does seem to show that she'll be back and powered up in Avengers 4. But while we're on the subject of Wanda and her robot boyfriend, Paul Bettany's vision didn't make it through Infinity War, getting a dramatic death at the hands of Thanos despite the best efforts of the Avengers. However, it seems like Vision will still have at least some sort of role to play in the fourth Avengers film, with Bettany confirming that he'll be back on board for the movie. Bettany hasn't dropped any hints about how his character will be involved, but he did share a picture of himself in full Vision regalia, filling out paperwork on the Avengers 4 set in late 2017. While it seems safe to assume that Vision will end up having more to do than just pushing paper around, it remains unclear whether he'll factor into the story mostly through flashbacks or if he'll be brought back through time travel or some other manipulation. Tom Holland's Spider-Man had one of the most emotional deaths in Infinity War. I don't want to go. I don't want to go, sir. Please. Please, I don't want to go. I don't want to go. Still, Holland's Peter is guaranteed to get resurrected in Avengers 4 since the actor will be suiting up as Spider-Man for 2019's Spider-Man Far From Home, which is set to hit theaters just a few months after Avengers 4's release. Unless Spider-Man Far From Home gives the webs to Aunt May or Ned, it seems safe to expect that Peter will make his way back from the dead in Avengers 4. We also know for sure that the character will appear in at least some capacity, with Marvel Studios head Kevin Feige revealing that Holland was signed on for the second film all the way back in April of 2017. Don Cheadle's War Machine was put in peril in Captain America's Civil War, but he was able to get back in his suit and help out his fellow Avengers in Infinity War. Rhodey actually wound up making it out of the film, surviving as one of the few heroes still left standing after the universe turned to dust. It's fitting, then, that Cheadle will definitely be back for Avengers 4. We don't know what he'll be up to, but Thanos actor Josh Brolin has said that the two actors share at least one scene, which means that he'll be headed for another confrontation with the movie's big bad. Like many MCU heroes, Sebastian Stan's Bucky Barnes faded to dust at the end of Infinity War. Winter Soldier fans don't need to be too afraid, though. Stan has confirmed he'll be back for Avengers 4. Stan remained tight-lipped about what exactly Bucky would be up to in the film, but he did confirm that he'd be going down to the movie's Atlanta set for more filming. Here's hoping that he gets a happier ending than he's had in his last few appearances. Tessa Thompson's Valkyrie was one of the most electrifying characters in Thor Ragnarok, which is even more impressive when you consider that she was sharing screen time with the God of Thunder. Unfortunately, she wasn't seen or even mentioned in Avengers Infinity War. Since the movie's release, the Russo brothers have played coy about whether Valkyrie escaped the opening scene massacre. They eventually did confirm that she survived the first attack from Thanos and even the Infinity Gauntlet snap, which all seems to point towards a cameo for Avengers 4. These rumors have only intensified since Thompson was seen boarding a plane with Thor actor Chris Hemsworth. The destination? Atlanta, the location of the Avengers 4 reshoots. All of which is to say that you definitely shouldn't be surprised if Thompson's hard-drinking, hard-fighting goddess shows up for a throwdown with Thanos. He's mine. Despite fading into dust at the end of Ant-Man and the Wasp, we've got confirmation that Janet and Hank appear in Avengers 4 in some capacity. In an interview with The Independent to promote Infinity War, Winter Soldier actor Sebastian Stan mentioned a massive, spoiler-heavy scene that featured, quote, everyone from Samuel L. Jackson to Michael Douglas to Michelle Pfeiffer. Considering that we didn't see that scene in the third Avengers film, it's a safe bet it'll be in Avengers 4 and likely will feature the resurrected heroes facing off against Thanos. We won't get the chance to officially meet Brie Larson's Captain Marvel until the character's standalone film comes out in March of 2019, but we did get our first tease of her entry into the MCU thanks to a very important pager. Marvel Studios head Kevin Feige has said that Captain Marvel will be the most powerful character in the MCU, and she'll definitely have her work cut out for her in the fight against Thanos. Denai Guerrera's Okoye has been through a lot since she first appeared in Captain America Civil War. She watched her King T'Chaka die in a bombing, led a righteous coup against Killmonger and Black Panther, and fought thousands of aliens right on the outskirts of Wakanda in an attempt to save the world in Avengers Infinity War. That's enough to shake anyone to their core, but it only gets worse for her since she also had to watch as T'Challa faded into dust after Thanos' all-powerful snap. The Russo brothers have mentioned that those events have put Okoye in a really interesting place as a character. They're not just leaving that characterization for the Black Panther sequel, either. 
Pom Clementi if the actress who plays Mantis accidentally let it slip that she shared a scene with Brie Larson and Denai Guerrera on the set of Avengers 4, which confirms that T'Challa's right-hand woman will be appearing in the sequel. While Benedict Cumberbatch's Stephen Strange faded into dust by the end of Avengers Infinity War, audiences were left scratching their heads about whether Wong survived the snap, and more importantly, whether he ever got that sandwich he asked for at the beginning of the movie. What do you want? I wouldn't say no to a tuna melt. Well, it seems Wong actually did manage to survive, as actor Benedict Wong shared a photo on Instagram captioned happy to be filming at Avengers 4. However, the photo he shared shows him wearing some sort of latex replica of his skin and hair, which seems to hint that the character could be revealed to be a scroll in the sequel. The Skrulls, which are due to be introduced as the main antagonists of Captain Marvel, are a race of shape-shifting aliens that have tried to conquer Earth dozens of times in the Marvel comic books. Whether Wong appears as a magic superhero or an alien enemy in Avengers 4, we'll just have to wait and see. Tilda Swinton's Ancient One was one of the few super people to not fade into dust after Thanos' snap. Unfortunately, that was because she'd already been mortally wounded in the Doctor Strange film. As with the rest of the dearly departed characters on this list, the Ancient One's supposed death won't stop her from appearing in Avengers Endgame. Michael Grillo, an executive producer on the upcoming film, dropped a very loaded hint while speaking at a panel at the Austin Film Festival. According to Superbro Movies, Grillo said, When we got Tilda Swinton, she was just a one-day availability. That seems like rock-solid confirmation that the Ancient One will be appearing in Avengers Endgame. However, fans of Swinton's character aren't likely to see her return to the MCU proper. Unlike those heroes killed off by Thanos, it's much more likely that Swinton's role will be in a motivating flashback or otherwise part of the movie's long-rumored time travel subplot. And of course, when it comes to the original Avengers that survived Infinity War, Thor, Captain America, Iron Man, Black Widow, we've got rock-solid confirmation that they're going to be in Avengers 4. Considering that a few of the actors' Marvel contracts will be up following Avengers 4, we can bet the original Avengers are going to have some meaty roles in the fight to avenge all their fallen friends.